two, one. Okay, I've mixed all of the dry ingredients into this mixing bowl and if you didn't get it uh, in our last segment, I'll have it at the end of the segment. Okay, now we start with the hot water. And you only use the hot water as you need it. Just be sure that you use a little bit at a time because you want the mixture to be very, very stiff very stiff because you'll be rolling it in your hand to uh, make the little padding for, uh, for what hot water cornbread and at the end you will also be using two eggs so you don't want the mixture to be too moist if it's too moist it'll be very difficult to handle when you're rolling it in your hand so you just continue with the hot water until you get it mixed but not too moist. Okay, just keep adding, keep adding until you have all of the mixture almost like in a ball, but you don't want it to be in a ball. Okay, you just keep adding a little bit more, a little bit more and that should be enough. It has to be very, very stiff. Very stiff. Maybe a little bit more. As I said earlier, you just keep adding as you need it. You really won't know how much. I generally boil about two cups of water and just mix as I go along. I think this is going to be it this time. I know I said that earlier but this has to be it this time. Yeah. You'll notice it's still very very stiff. And you just keep pressing it until you get all of the dry ingredients mixed in with the hot water. Now it is time to add the eggs. And you add the eggs last because if you add them along with the hot water, the eggs will cook. So always make the eggs the last thing that you put in to your mixture. Okay, that looks just perfect. It's very stiff and yet it's all mixed in. Okay, so I'm adding two eggs and just work this in. In the meantime, I'm going to put a little cold water in this pot. Just a little bit, enough to put in the palm of my hand to keep it from sticking. I forgot to do that earlier. So I got a little help here. As you can see, it's causing it to be a little bit more moist. Now, if it's any time that it's too moist and it's a little difficult to handle, just add a little more cornmeal. Okay, and this looks like it might be a little bit too moist. I could probably make it work, but... Yeah, cornmeal. So I want you to see that sometimes I make mistakes too. It's just a matter of how it's looking as you go along that you do whatever you need to do. So that should help make it the way it should be. Good, that's it. That makes it perfect. Now the oil is already hot. Now you don't want the cooking oil to be too hot because it will burn before it gets brown. The mixture has already pretty, pretty much cooked uh, the cornmeal but you 
do need to be sure that it's brown. Okay, so you take a spoon, like a tablespoon, and you roll it. I like to roll it in little oblong shaped patties. Put a little water in your hand to keep it from sticking. And it's time to fry. And if this oil looks like it's a little too hot, you're going to turn the oil down a little bit. It looks like it's a little too hot. You don't want it to be too hot because it'll burn immediately. Give it a little time to cool off. The camera. Okay. Close. Okay, we're going to stop here for a minute. Get the oil at the right temperature, and we'll be back ready for the frying.